I'm told, because uh, I don't remember any of it, I was, I'm told that I was about to speak, and I said, oh no, and just fell over backwards. We had a meeting scheduled for three o'clock that afternoon, and some things came up. Some of the people couldn't, needed to be out of town. Uh, I guess what I'm getting to is if, I, if I'd have had this brain aneurysm when I was in my office, I wouldn't be here today. But fortunately, they changed our meeting schedule that's when the aneurysm hit. Uh, the, the blood uh, was flowing inside my brain uh, and I was out cold. The next day I had brain surgery. Uh, the, the doctor who did the surgery was on vacation at the time. You know, another miracle, the fact that he was willing to do that. He was willing to leave his family and come back and take care of a patient. Another miracle, the, the surgeon, the neurosurgeon, uh, had never, he, he told my wife this after the fact, he said he had never had success with this type of surgery for a person who used Coumadin, which is a blood thinner. Uh, obviously he had success with me, so I had the surgery. I was in the intensive care 18 days. Whenever I could, I'd, I'd move my hands and I'd feel and say, I can't imagine them doing surgery. I can't find any, any gauze, any tape, or anything on my head. Well, it was, it was many days later when I learned that they had gone through the groin and up to the, into the brain. I have a, I have a greater appreciation for nature and for life. Uh, every day that I get up, I'm thankful for a new day. I was laying there with only the cover over me and, and, and thinking, why me, Lord? Why, 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 why now? Uh, and, and then secondly, why did you let me live? I, I had to get every kind of therapy. I had learned to walk again, basically. There was a motivation, there was a drive inside me. Uh, how to explain it, I don't know, but, and I was uh, dismissed from the hospital on Tuesday, uh, prior to the Thanksgiving on Thursday. And that, that was, uh, it was wonderful having a family there for Thanksgiving. We have a daughter who is, uh, lives in Humboldt. Well, I, I'm told that when she got to the hospital, uh, she was crying, and of course, my wife was crying. Uh, matter of fact, it was pretty dim. And, and I love sports. Uh, and I'm told my daughter would get the paper every day and sit beside the bed and read to me constantly, hour after hour. That still touches me today. When I got to the point where I could have visitors, uh, our son and his wife brought their children. That was a great inspiration to me. Uh, we're, we're probably, we're a much closer family than we ever were, and we've always been a close family. There's not much room up there. Well, in me, there's maybe a lot of room, but uh, I, I think you just have to take things as they happen, uh, day by day. Brain aneurysms can happen, but heart attacks will happen, cancer will happen. You know, I, 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 I still uh, ask my wife questions about uh, that experience. Uh, it's, 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 it's a great, it's a journey, but it's not one that I'd want to make again. Uh, but I'd make it in faith if I did. Sure beats having to lay up and, uh, and, and, uh, or, 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 or lay down and it was under the ground, you know? Uh. <laughs> uh.